Oh, gosh, yikes. Right, so I did a bunch of track bar and five Bang. bar deadlifts last night. So I'm actually pretty sore today. Well, I don't really feel sore, but I'm having trouble oh, moving. So this is a great time to do the Tai Chi routine. More embarrassing stuff. Yeah, I was actually feeling pretty good about the Tai Chi also. But it also seems like it's affecting your mind in a way where it uh, makes you look really good to yourself. But you don't look as good in the video. And I don't want to scare away people from Tai Chi by <clears throat> continuing the uh, Taoism. But I thought uh, I would enhance this uh, session by reading the Tao Te Ching through the uh, uh, session. Okay. <clears throat> the way that becomes a way is not the immortal way. The name that becomes a name is not the immortal name. The maiden of heaven and earth has no name. The mother of all things has a name. Thus, in innocence, we see the beginning. In passion, we see the end. Two different names for one and the same, the one we call dark. The dark beyond dark, the door to all beginnings. All the world knows beauty, but if that becomes beautiful, this becomes ugly. All the world knows good, but if that becomes good, this becomes bad. The coexistence of have and have not. The co-production of hard and easy. The correlation of the correlation of long and short. The codependence of high and low. The correspondence of note and noise. The coordination of first and last is endless. Thus, the sage performs effortlessly effortless deeds and teaches wordless lessons. He doesn't start all the things he begins. He doesn't presume on what he does. He doesn't claim what he, he doesn't claim what he achieves. And because he makes no claim, he suffers no loss. Bestowing no honors keeps people from fighting. Prizing no treasures keeps people going up and breathe out going down through the nose. Prizing no treasures keeps people from stealing. Displaying no attractions keeps people from making trouble. Thus, the rule of the sage empties the mind, but fills the stomach, weakens the will, but strengthens the bones, by keeping the people from knowing or wanting, and those who know from daring to act. He thus governs them all. The Tao is so empty, those who use it never become fall again and so deep as if it were the ancestor of us all. Dulling our edges, untying our tangles, softening our light, merging our dust, and so clear, as if it were present, I wonder whose child it is. It seems it was here before Ty. Heaven and earth are heartless. Treating creatures like straw dogs. Heartless is the sage. Treating people like straw dogs. Between heaven and earth, how like it bellows. 
empty but inexhaustible. Each movement produces more. Talking only wasted. Better to keep it inside. The valley spirit that doesn't die we call the dark womb. The dark womb's mouth we call the source of creation. As real as gozamer silk and yet we can't exhaust it. Heaven is eternal and earth is immortal. The reason they're eternal and immortal is because they don't live for themselves. Breath for a few breath. Hence, they can live forever. Thus, the, sa the sage horizontal one direction and vertical the other. Breathing it in as you go up and out as you come down. Thus the sage pulls himself back, but ends up in front. He lets himself go, but ends up safe. Selflessness must be the reason. Whatever he seeks, he finds. The best are like water, bringing help to all. Without competing, choosing what others avoid. Hence approaching the Tao, Dwelling with earth, thinking with depth, helping with kindness, speaking with truth, governing with peace, working with skill, moving with time, and because they don't compete, they aren't maligned. Instead of pouring in more, better stop while you can. Making it sharper won't help it last longer. Houses fall of treasure can never be safe. The vanity of success invites its own failure. When your work is done, retire. This is the way of heaven. Can you hold fast? Your cons, your crescent, crescent soul, and not let it wander? Can you make your breath as soft as a baby's? Can you wipe your dark mirror free of dust? Can you serve and govern without effort? Can you be the female at heaven's gate? Can you light up the world without knowledge? Beget things and keep them, but beget without possessing. Keep without controlling. This is dark virtue. Thirty spokes converge on a hub, but it, it's em the emptiness that makes a wheel work. Pots are fashioned from clay, but it's the hollow that makes a pot work. Windows and doors are carved for a house, but it's the space that makes the directions that a uh, house work. Existence makes something useful, but non-existence makes it work. The five colors make our eyes blind. The five tones make our ears deaf. The five flavors make our mothers, our mouths numb. Riding and hunting make our minds wild. Hard to get goods make us break laws. Thus the rule of the sage puts the stomach ahead of the eyes. Thus he picks this over that. Favor and disgrace are like warnings. Honor and disaster are like the body. And why are favor and disgrace like warnings? Favor means descending. To gain, it is like a warning. To lose, it is like a warning. Thus are favor and disgrace like warnings. And why are honor and disaster like the body? The reason we have disaster is because we have a body. If we didn't have a body, we wouldn't have disaster. 
who honors his body as much as the world can be entrusted with the world who loves his body as much as the world can be encharged with the world. We look but don't see it and call it distinct. We listen but don't hear it and call it faint. We reach but don't grasp it and call it ethereal. Three failed means to knowledge we weave into one with no light above, with no shade below too fine to be named. Returning to nothing, this is the formless form, the immaterial image, this is the waxing wane. We meet without seeing its face, we follow without seeing its back. Holding on to this very way, we rule this very realm, and discover its ancient past. This is the thread of the way. The ancient masters of the way aimed at the indiscernible and penetrated the dark. You would never know them, and because you wouldn't know them, I describe them with reluctance. They were careful as if crossing a river in winter, cautious as if it were worried about neighbors, reserved like gas. Ephemeral like melting ice, simple like uncarved wood, open like valleys and murky like puddles. But a puddle becomes clear when it's still, and stillness becomes alive when it's roused. Those who treasure this way don't try to be fall, and not trying to be fall, they can hide and stay hidden. Let limits be empty the center be still. Ten thousand things rise, we watch them return. Creatures without number all return to their roots. Return to their roots to be still, and to be still, to revive. To revive, to endure. Knowing how to endure is wisdom. Not knowing is to suffer in vain. Knowing how to endure is to be all-embracing. All embracing means impartial. Play it for you. Impartial means the king. The king means heaven. Heaven means the way. And the way means long life. Life without trouble. During the high ages, people knew they were there. Then people loved and praised them. Then they feared them. Finally, they despise them. When honesty fails, dishonesty prevails. Hesitate and guard your words when their work succeeds. Let people think they did it. When the great way disappears, we meet kindness and justice. When reason appears, we meet great deceit. When the six relations fail, we meet obedience and love. When the country is in chaos, we meet honest officials. Get rid of wisdom and reason and people will live a hundred times better. Get rid of kindness and justice and people once more will love and obey. Get rid of cleverness and profit and thieves will cease to exist. But these three sayings are not enough, hence let this be added. Where the undyed and hold the uncarved reduce self-interest and limit desires. Get rid of learning and problems will vanish. I'm feeling it pretty good. Yes and no aren't so far apart. Lovely and ugly aren't so unalike. What others fear we slide your hands down your legs and go a little bit farther down every time. We too must fear before the moon wanes. Everyone is gay. As if they were at the great sacrifice or climbing a tower in the spring. I sit here and make no sign like a child that doesn't smile 
lost with no one to turn to, while others enjoy more, I alone seem forgotten. My mind is so foolish, so simple, others look right, I alone seem dim, others are certain, I alone am confused. Receding like the ocean, waxing without cease, everyone has a goal. I alone am dumb and backward, for I alone choose to differ, preferring still my mother's breast. The expression of empty virtue comes from the Tao alone. The Tao, as a thing, waxes and wanes. It waxes and wanes, but inside there is an image. It wanes and waxes, but inside there is a creature. It's distinct and dark. But inside there is an essence, an essence fundamentally real. And inside there is a heart. Throughout the ages, its name has never changed, so we might follow our fathers. How do we know what our fathers were like? Through this, partial means whole, crooked means straight, hollow means fall, worn out means new, less means content, more means confused. Thus the sage holds on to the one, to use in guiding the world and not watching himself he appears, not displaying himself he flourishes, not flattering himself he succeeds, not parading himself he leads, because he doesn't compete, no one can compete against him. The ancients who said partial means whole came close indeed, becoming whole depends on this. Whispered words are natural. A gale doesn't last all morning. A squall doesn't last all day. Who else could make these? Only heaven and earth. If heaven and earth can't make things last, what about man? Thus, and whatever we do, let those on the way be one with the way. Let those who succeed be one with success. Let those who fail be one with failure. Be one with success, for the way succeeds too. Be one with failure, for the way, the way fails too. Who tiptoes doesn't stand? Who strides doesn't walk? Who watches himself doesn't appear, who displays himself doesn't flourish, who flatters himself achieves nothing, who parades himself doesn't lead on the road they say. Too much food and a tiring pace, some things are simply bad, thus the Taoist shuns them. Imagine a nebulous thing, here before heaven and earth, silent and elusive, it stands alone and not wavering, it travels everywhere unharmed, it could be the mother of us all. Not knowing its name, I call it the Tao, forced to name it, I name it Great. Great means ever-flowing, ever-flowing means far-reaching. Far reaching means returning, the Tao is great, heaven is great, earth is great, the king is also great, the realm contains four greats, of these the king is one, man imitates earth, earth imitates heaven, heaven imitates the Tao, the Tao imitates itself. Heavy is the root of light, still is the master of busy. Thus a lord might travel all day, but never far from his supplies. Even in a guarded camp, his manner is calm and aloof. Why would the lord of ten thousand chariots treat himself lighter than his kingdom? Too light, he loses his base. Too busy, he loses command. Good walking leaves no tracks. Good talking reveals no flaws. Good counting counts no beads. Good closing locks no locks. 
and yet it can't be opened. Good time ties no knots, and yet it can't be undone. Thus the sage is good at saving, and yet abandons no one, nor anything of use. This is called cloaking the light. Thus the good instruct the bad, the bad learn from the good, not honoring their teachers, not cherishing their students. The wise alone are perfectly blind. This is called peering into the distance. Recognize the male, but hold on to the female, and be the world's maid. Being the world's maid, don't lose your ancient virtue. Not losing your ancient virtue, be a newborn child again. Recognize the peer, but hold on to the defiled. Uh, turn and look back. And be the world's valley. Being the world's valley, be filled with ancient virtue. Being filled with ancient virtue, be uncarved wood again. Recognize the white, but... Hold on to the black, and be the world's guide. Being the world's guide, don't stray from ancient virtue. Not straying from ancient virtue, be without limits again. Uncarved wood can be split to make tools. The sage makes its his chief official. A master tailor doesn't cut. Trying to govern the world of force. I see this not succeeding. The world is a spiritual thing. It can't be forced. To force it is to harm it. To control it is to lose it. Sometimes things lead. Sometimes they follow. Sometimes blow hot. Sometimes blow cold. Sometimes expand. Sometimes collapse. Therefore the sage avoids extremes. Avoids extravagance. Avoids excess. Use the Tao to help your king. Don't use weapons to rule the land. Such things soon return. Where armies camp, and brambles grow. Best to win the stop. It circles. Don't make use of force. Win but don't be proud. Win but don't be vain. Win but don't be cruel. Win when you have no choice. This is to win without force. Virility means old age. This isn't the Tao. What isn't the Tao ends early. Weapons are not auspicious tools. Some things are simply bad, thus the Taoist shuns them. In peace, the ruler honors the left. In war, he honors the right. Weapons are not auspicious. Weapons are not a ruler's tools. He wields them when he has no choice. Dispassion is the best. Thus he does not beautify them. He who beautifies I them. Think it kind of creepy. Enjoys killing the others. He who enjoys killing others achieves no worldly rule. Thus we honor the left for joy. We honor the right for sorrow. The left is where the adjutant stands, the commander on the right, which means at a funeral. When you kill another, honor him with your tears. When the battle is won, treat it as a wake. The Tao has never had a name, simple and though small. No one can command it. If a lord upheld it, the world would be his guest. When heaven joins the, with earth, Davis sort of is good trying to keep on resting in mountain. When heaven joins with earth, they bestow sweet dew. No one gives the order. Yeah, this is something nice. It comes down to all. The first distinction gives us names. After we have names, we should know restraints. Who knows restraints knows no trouble. To picture the Tao and the world, imagine rivers and the sea. Who knows others is perceptive. Who knows himself is wise. Who conquers others is forceful. Who conquers himself is strong. Who knows contentment is wealthy. Who strives hard succeeds. Who doesn't lose his place endures. Who dies but doesn't perish lives on. The Tao drifts. It can go left or right. 
Everything lives by its grace, but it doesn't speak. When it works, it succeeds. It makes no claim. It has no desires, shall we call it small? Everything turns to it, but it wields no control. Shall we call it great? Therefore the sage never acts great. Thus he can do great things. Hold up the great image, and the world will come, and be beyond harm, safe, serene, and at one. Find food and song, detain passing guest, when the Tao speaks, it's senseless and plain. We look and don't see it, we listen and don't hear it, but we use it without end. What you would shorten, you should therefore lengthen. What you would weaken, you should therefore strengthen. What you would topple, you should yeah, therefore reasons. raise. What you would take, you should therefore give. This is called hiding the light. The weak conquering the strong, the fish can't survive out of the deep. A uh, state's greatest tool is not meant to be shown. The Tao never does a thing that there is nothing it doesn't do. If a ruler could uphold it, people by themselves would change, and changing if their desires stirred, he could make them still, with simplicity that has no name. Still by nameless simplicity, they would not desire, and not be desiring, reasons. be at peace. The world would fix itself. Higher virtue is not virtuous. Thus, it possesses virtue. Alright, well, I know, this video is almost over. Yeah, it's, oh, it was almost kind of exhausting to read that long, but it brings me back to enjoying reading and recording myself reading. Just to have audio logs and stuff, and then I'm not really persuaded much by the Tao teaching, but. Yeah, you know, Tao Te Ching, Tai Chi Chuan, Ai Ching. Alright, normally that takes 40 minutes, but, uh, you know, recording it on camera sort of pushes you to get the routine over. Alright, and once I stop the camera, I'm just going to standing for a little bit and enjoy the tranquil state I've gotten in 